Jetfoil Flash and the MSR Pocket Rocket, two names very familiar to anyone in the outdoor community. After the success of the original Pocket Rocket, MSR released the Pocket Rocket 2, but not to be outdone, they recently released the Pocket Rocket Deluxe. Honestly, in the past, I haven't had the highest quality canister stoves like this. I've always kind of gone with cheaper versions, but I had a little bit of REI money left in my account from last year's dividends, and I thought there's no better time to make the purchase than now, so I purchased the Pocket Rocket Deluxe. Today, we're going to put it up against the Jetbowl Flash system and see which one boils water fastest and which one uses the least amount of fuel. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching. First, I have a complete review on the Jetbowl Flash system, which I will leave a link down below so you can check that out. I'm not going to go into detail on the Flash system because I've already done that. So let's talk a little bit of specs before we put these to the test on the Pocket Rocket Deluxe. It weighs 2.9 ounces, that's 0.3 ounces heavier than the Pocket Rocket 2. It has a built-in pressure regulator that allows you to have good, consistent performance at a variety of temperature levels. It can be hot, it can be cold, and this stove is supposed to work very, very well. It has an integrated push-start piezo igniter. It's supposed to be very good as well. It's actually very interesting where it's located. I'll show you guys that here in a second. And it has a pretty broad burner. Uh, the footprint itself is pretty broad, and that gives it quite a bit of wind resistance, so they say. Unlike the other Pocket Rocket designs, it does not come with a little plastic case. It comes with just a nylon bag. That helps decrease the weight a little bit, but it doesn't protect it quite as well as the other ones did. So let me show you guys what you get, what it looks like, and then let's put it to the test. So it comes packaged in this little nylon stuff sack, okay? It's pretty, pretty nice. It's thick, okay? It's hardy. Here's the stove itself, okay? You just fold out the handle for controlling the fuel. And then these legs kind of have two motions. They flip out and then they turn around. They flip out and then they turn around. And that is the stove, all right? Down here, this little button right here, this is the piezo igniter. Really intuitive, really nice, okay? You can see the broad aspect of the burner itself. And it really should give good wind performance. You can see across the side there. It has a lip up here that does block the wind pretty nicely. Like all these stoves, simply attaches to the bottom of one of these canisters. I'm gonna turn the lights out and light this up so you can see what the flame pattern looks like. All right, so we'll turn this on. Let me show you guys what it looks like here. Gas starts, one button. As you can see, flame looks very nice. Very uh, nice, bright blue flame. And you can see it really has a wide footprint. You can control it pretty well. We can decrease the flame. So one of the really nice things about this, you can drop it to more of a simmer we can even drop it even more. You, you can see just how well you can control the flame itself. That's pretty much on a low simmer, but it is still going. I think this would suffer in the wind, but you can turn up a little bit. And that's on high right there. So that's what the flame pattern looks like. So now I plan on using this uh, stove with my ultralight cook kit. So I'll be using this Tokes 750 milliliter pot. I put two cups of water in here. Now obviously it's very different than the jet boil, but I think realistically, if we're going to look at these two systems, I'm not gonna be using this stove with the jet boil uh, cup, which has the heat disperser at the bottom and all that stuff. So we're gonna put it head to head with what we would use it in the field. This particular stove will be going inside of my ultralight cook kit. That's where it's gonna live. So that's how we're gonna test it. We're gonna put this right on top here. I'm gonna crank it on. I'm gonna set the timer and we're gonna see how long it takes to boil. All the way to high, and let's see how long it takes. Oh guys, I missed it, it crept up on me. Well, that's what it is. It was two minutes, 23 seconds. It went crazy, I didn't have it on film, but that is what it is. Two minutes, 23 seconds with the Pocket Rocket Deluxe. Let me weigh it and see how much fuel it used. Man, that was fast. All right, so we'll start with the jet boil flash system. We're gonna crank this thing on and see how long it takes to get to a boil. There we go, it's turned all the way up. Let's see how long it takes to get it to a boil. I do have the top loose just so that I can keep an eye on it and see when it boils. All right guys, we've got a rolling boil. We're gonna turn this off. So three minutes and 33 seconds, let me weigh out the fuel. 
All right, you can see our new element in the test here. I'm gonna turn on this fan, it's gonna be on high. It's about a foot and a half from the stove itself. It is at the same level as the stove, so it's definitely going to have to affect the stove in some way or another, right? So we're gonna start again. I've measured the fuel. We're gonna put our can up here with two cups of water. I'm going to start up the fan. It's gonna get loud, guys. I'm gonna start up the fan, turn on the gas, and start the timer. There we go. All right, let's see what happens. A lot of noise, but you can see what the wind is doing to the flame pattern. Just wanted to show you guys real quick, this is how it looks in the wind. All right guys, we've got a full rolling boil, three minutes, 36 seconds, with direct wind on this bad boy. All right, so we're gonna put the jet boil up against the wind, okay? I'm gonna turn on the wind here. Leave it on high. I'm gonna start her up, turn on the timer. Took a couple of tries to get it going, but now we're going. Let's see how long it takes to get to a boil. All right, guys, we're at a boil. Turn this off. Turn off our air. Took quite a bit longer, six minutes and 26 seconds. So let's go ahead and measure out the fuel. So let's talk about the results. I think they actually were kind of interesting. Uh, overall, my initial impressions, I'll tell you that the Pocket Rocket Deluxe is hot. I mean, it is so hot. It puts out a tremendous amount of heat. Uh, even with my gloves on, picking up my little titanium cup by the handle, almost burnt through my gloves. I actually have a little burn on my finger from how hot it was. So that's an initial impression. Let's talk first without wind, so no fan whatsoever. It took the MSR uh, Pocket Rocket Deluxe two minutes and 23 seconds to get two cups of water to a boil, and it used 12 grams of fuel. The flash took a little longer. It was three minutes and 33 seconds, but remarkably, it only used four grams of fuel to bring two cups of water to a boil. Pretty amazing. So the MSR brought water to a boil one minutes and 10 seconds faster than the flash, but it used eight grams more in fuel to get it done. Now we put the wind, and I'll tell you guys, I had that wind, like I said, about 24 inches straight from the flames, and it was on high, so it was pretty strong. It would be equivalent to pretty heavy, consistent winds out in the field. Uh, most winds out in the field are not consistent. This was consistent, so it really was kind of a torture test. The MSR got two cups of water to a boil in three minutes and 36 seconds. It's a minute and 10 seconds slower than with no wind. It also used 16 grams of fuel, which is four grams more in fuel with the wind. Surprisingly, the flash struggled when it came to the wind. I thought it would do better because it has a nice wind protection, but in the end, it just shows that the BTUs that it's putting out are much less than the MSR. It took a whopping six minutes and 26 seconds to get water to a boil, and I was pretty nice because it wasn't even a super rolling boil, although it was boiling. This was three minutes and 11 seconds longer than without wind on the flash. It did use eight grams of fuel this time, which is double, but still pretty impressive considering the fact that it's half what the MSR used to get two cups of water to a boil in the wind. So from the standpoint of time, the MSR is way faster than the flash in my opinion. The numbers are pretty straightforward. As far as efficiency goes, the flash uses quite a bit less fuel. So which one's better? We'll talk about that in a little bit. So let's talk about the positives of this MSR Pocket Rocket Deluxe over the flash system. First of all, it's much lighter, of course. The flash system itself weighs quite a bit on its own, and the MSR weighs just under three ounces. Of course, we're comparing an entire cook system with just a stove, but you can still keep it much lighter because the stove itself is so much lighter, and you can combine it with something like I did, which is the uh, 750 milliliter Tox titanium cup, and it's way lighter than the flash system. On actual numbers, the flash weighs one pound, three ounces, with no fuel, just a system with no fuel. Conversely, if you put the Pocket Rocket Deluxe inside of the Toke 750, include my DIY cozy around it, it has a stuff sack from z -Packs. I put a Hot Lips in there, and I put a little thing to help me measure water. All that together is still seven and three eighths ounces, quite a bit less in the flash system. The boil time is excellent, it's super compact and easy to pack away anywhere, and it's really well made, like all of the MSR products are. The other thing that's great about it is it has a fully adjustable flame. The flash is designed to do one thing, boil and boil only. This allows you to control the flame, simmer, boil, whatever you might want to do. So which one's better? Well, really you're comparing two very different animals. You're comparing just a stove with an entire cook system. But in my opinion, I favor the MSR for several reasons. 
The flash boxes you in. It boxes you in on form factor, it boxes you in on the type of pot you can use, it boxes you in on weight. There's really no way to trim it down to get it to weigh a lot less. You can play around with a system and create your own when you're using the MSR Pocket Rocket Deluxe. To me, that's a really big deal. I like putting together my own kits. It allows me to be very flexible with what I want to do and pick things that have multiple functions. No matter which way I slice it, the flash is forcing me to use everything that it comes with. It's very good at what it does. It boils water very quickly and it boils it very efficiently like we saw. It uses far less fuel and that's something you have to think about. The other thing, like I said, is sometimes you want to cook on something other than full blast. The flash is made to boil water as fast as it possibly can. It is not a cook system. It is a system to boil water. The MSR allows you to create a system to cook with because with that fuel regulator, you're really able to control the strength of your flame. Now, I thought going in that the flash would have superior wind resistance. I was wrong and pretty wrong indeed. And the reason is simple. The flash's burner is just not nearly as strong as the MSR Pocket Rocket Deluxe. It doesn't put out near the BTUs. Not only is it smaller in diameter, but it just isn't as strong. Now the MSR Pocket Rocket Deluxe is not cheap. It costs just under $70. You compare that to the flash system, which is $100. The flash is a pretty good deal compared to that, but if you're willing to put in a little bit of extra money and buy yourself a pot and a couple other things, you can come in pretty close on cost between the flash and an ultralight cook system based on the MSR. In the end, guys, what will I choose? Well, I'll tell you what I'll choose. I am yet to take the flash on a backpacking trip. I think it's just too heavy and it's just not something I'm interested in. I own it because I use it car camping, we take it places and we use it all the time with the kids, but I'm not going to carry it in my backpack. I am going to start using the MSR Pocket Rocket Deluxe as my primary stove in my ultralight kit. It is going to replace for now the BRS Ultralight Titanium Stove simply because it has so much better wind resistance. I've struggled with wind and I really think that it affects the BRS in particular. This stove puts out a tremendous amount of heat, gets water to a bowl very, very fast, and I think it's gonna save me time on the trail. So that's it, guys. That's a look at differences between the flash system and a system based on the MSR Pocket Rocket Deluxe. I love this new stove. It is super fast, super powerful, and by far the nicest canister stove I've ever owned. If you like the video, guys, do me a favor, hit the thumbs up down below. It really helps to spread things across YouTube. That is how our channels grow. If you like the video as well, hit the subscribe button. And if you really wanna know when I'm gonna publish my next video, hit the little ding dong bell and you'll be the first to know. As always guys, I really enjoy making these videos for you here on the channel. It is so much fun to test this stuff out and I'm really excited to get this MSR out on the trail. As always, stay tuned for more videos here on Paleo Hiker MD.